just a quick introduction. My name is Nicholas Nguyen. I am a senior corporate quality resource at Blue Trend and Brands, and I've been a Power Platform user for the last three years, um, essentially ever since you killed off um, InfoPath and Access Web Apps. These are my contacts. Um, as you can see, when I first started um, professionally, I did not even know how to use Excel, but I think it speaks to a general story for a lot of Power Platform users, which is you find a problem and your next step is to find tools and then your third step is to learn those tools and teach them to yourself. So um, I found that to be a very common story among like a lot of our users. Um, so I, this is my family, uh, my daughter and my wife. And I actually started out with the exact opposite problem of Rory. So a couple of times I found out, uh, a couple of weeks I was actually waking up late. I was oversleeping. And it turned out the reason why is because my daughter kept on taking my phone and in the morning before I fell asleep, she would download games, play them on my phone, turn off my alarm because, you know, she's in the middle of something. And, you know, when I finally wake up, I find my phone has a lot more apps than I remember it. So one day she came to I've me. I've had that happen to me too before. <laughs> I know, right? And, you know, and one day she came to me with a bunch of construction paper and um, let's see if I can share my screen real quickly and said, hey, this is a game I want to make. Can we make this game? And the game was called Fight the Rattlesnake. So, so we made it in PowerPoint and already she could tell something was wrong. She said, hey, nothing happens if you jump on it or if they miss. So, you know, at five years old, she had a intuitive idea of the problems of game design. So that's um, not bad. So I tried harder on the second um, game that I made for my daughter. And this time I'll try to see if I can share my phone. One second. Oh, Got perfect. It. And this is the next game we made, and it is... How long did it take you to build this app? Um, so I would say, and you know, honestly, this is probably my answer for every app I'm, I've made. It took two days for it to work, and it's still going now just to make it good. Know the feeling. That's exactly how much time it took to build our app, too. <laughs> the same story. Two days and then polish it up. Okay. Okay, here we go. So, you are a kitty. And you're running endlessly. If you grab a heart, you get a power up. If you hit the spikes, ow, that hurts. You punch over the, don't fall. Ah, there's an angry bird. Oh, wait, but if you get, oh, no, okay, I lost. Okay, so I was going to show you the power-up, so I guess I'll have to do it again. All right. Okay, so, hold on a second. I think I had a comp, I think I had a See it again. Okay, there we go. Okay, and let me see if I can get this. Um, so it's hard to talk and play at the same time, but let me see if I can get this um, while, if the power up will come up again. Let's see. I didn't okay. notice the animation before in your, in your, uh, your cat's face when I saw it on the smaller screenshot. Oh yeah, it's uh, let's see. So I can't take credit for that. I've received um, all the assets were taken from Open Game Art, but um, you know, def definitely like um, there were some modifications that we had to make in order to make the game work. Ah, you know what? It's hard to get those that power up. But let me see if I can um, get it within this next turn. 
Okay. So you said you got your assets for the game from a, a website? Um, yes, like um, I went to the open game art community and um, let's see. So there's a lot of like, you know, a- there's a lot of assets and resources for game making in general. Mm-hmm. And um, I, tr- I applied that to, you know, but none of them for power apps. So, you know, that's a new, so that's a definitely a, a new uh, field. So we, um, you know, use that. And then like uh, my um, daughter, of course, had all the veto power. Um, she decided, oh no, not, not a, not a dog running game, but a cat running game. Um, you know, and she chose the enemy. Um, I told her I like, want something a little bit nicer than like dinosaurs finding rattlesnakes, but, oh, you know, it's like, um, let's see. It's hard to play the game with everyone's, uh, chat, <laughs> too, I'm sure. <laughs> I, I appreciate uh, Oh, there we go. Okay. So that was like a quick trap. If you jump there and you miss it, okay. Um, let's see where where is the hidden coin? It's a little bit like the golden snitch of the game. Um, oh, you have an Easter egg built into it. Oh yeah, yeah. I, but I missed it the first time. Like, um, let's see. But I but I'm lasting longer than usual. And um, okay. Let's see. I think I think you saw a little. I think you saw a little bit of it earlier. Like when the when the cat flies, there's a coin that pops out randomly, and every time that you hit that you grab the coin, you get to be invincible. The cat flies and becomes invincible, just like you know in real life. And um, you know basically, um, that's when you can get all the power ups. But um, let's see. That's where you can get all the power ups and um, let's see, pull, um, grab the health while avoiding the issues. So you see, like how the heart there is hidden in the landscape. It's actually impossible to reach if you're the cat. But if you're, um, oh man, maybe I can make it. Oh no, I missed it. Okay, I saw it. Yeah. Let's see. So I'll I'll, I'll put a pause here, um, and then I'll share back to my screen. So the idea of the game is like everything character is going to be endlessly running in a background that will consistent will like um, continually like um, progressively generate as you go over time. So one of the things I added was to add gesture controls, and you know it's actually fairly straightforward um, for gesture controls. Um, basically, we have a you know we have a slider that's the size of the screen, but also transparent. Um, when we go into invincible mode, this, we switch the control to a different slider, and the jump and the jump action of the character is a parabolic uh, motion based on time and the player's um, Y component. Um, let's see, for the, back, for the background to continually scroll, what happens is we have like two basic blocks that are used as kind of pace blocks. And so that way it creates a continually scrolling motion where once one block moves off screen, it moves behind the second block. So you always see, if you cover this um, right now, you always see what essentially is an infinite motion. Um, and then if you can switch speeds, you can make the ones in the back slower than the ones in the front. And um, let's add some images um, attached to it. Mm. Add it in, add it closer, and then you have parallax motion, which gives an illusion of depth um, for your game. And then the character, and then the game itself uses a type of um, collision detection where I take um, a variable. Um, that's set by the position of the block um, against um, the other blocks. And if it reaches a certain point, like platform off, it updates the Y, um, the y property of the player block. So the, everything here is just blocks touching each other. Um, so you can see here, if I put a cat you know, that's tied to the position of the block, then I have a cat that's running infinitely. Let's see. If I have, if I want to have a triangle, um, 
let's see, I basically just create similar um, concept, except now the height of the cat is updated w relative to its position on the triangle. So here we can see here, uh, this would work. So now the cat's running off the triangle. Let's um, make a triangle. Let's make it a little bigger. So now we're going to put it above the crevice. Uh, so the, now the cat's running above there. And then finally, um, every time the cat runs off screen, I create a random function, which will update the size of the platform. So we're able to create an endlessly changing set, a randomly generated, um, progressively um, set background that if you play, you, you know, if you last past five minutes, you won't ever uh, repeat the same um, game world twice. And, you know, and these are concepts that I've been able to put into um, many other different games. These aren't quite as, you know, developed to the same point, but here we have a uh, shooter game, which is, again, controlled by um, a slider. So on your, on your um, tablet, you'll, again, be using gesture controls, um, avoid the meteors. Fantastic. So you, I see. see you flip your collision and, detection around a and little bit. And even like, um, yeah, and even Pong, using pretty much the same like um, general concepts. Love it. But um, yeah, cur currently like um, these different solutions are being put into different um, games that um, have been based on around what my daughter really has been downloading. So when she downloads something, I'll try to reverse engineer that in Power Apps. Um, you know, and, and when, for me, it was a great break because, you know, I do work with a lot of Power Apps professionally. And sometimes you need a break after trying to physically align a lot of labels and fi figuring out like, you know, gallery filter formulas. So, you know, this was something that kind of still stretched your mind, you know, sharpened some of the power app skills, but, you know, really I like, created a lot of interesting problem solving solutions that made you think differently than what you would normally get in um, business apps. No and, um, you know, even the concept itself, I think has a lot of opportunity, um, you know, in, in that same field. And I've been pitching it, um, and, you know, at different times, like, you know, gamification, like in the most literal sense as a training tool, as a teaching tool. Let's see. And in those cases, I don't think that my daughter will have veto power. But in this case, she got to not only decide what the main character looked like, but also name the app. So thank you again for taking a look at Kitty Run, which is named by my daughter, Valerie Nguyen. Awesome. Thank you for presenting it. I love how you show these these pieces behind the scenes here to help us conceptualize and understand how you built all the different pieces and they lay on top. Very helpful. Now, did you upload your app to the gallery too? Um, no, not yet. I'm actually going to set it up in my GitHub. Like, um, oh, really? Okay. Shortly, so, and I actually I did start a YouTube channel where I've been going through I kind of like a detailed um, work through of the making of the app. Um, awesome. Let's see. So the first series is called Making Kitty Run, and um, you know we talked about the, how the timer um, is used to create the endless motion, mm -hmm. and um, you know the next um, cases will take will try to explain some of the other game apps that we made as well. And, and by we I mean myself and my daughter. <laughs> That's very cool. Thank you for sharing it. All right. Thank you.